All right, let's head back into the Golden Coast. So, cave. Definitely want to do. I think what we want, where we want to go. We didn't really see the caves, right? I, I think the first thing I want to do is the one where we have all the boys. So let's get, say, 40 of these. Let's get 20 of these. We're going to need every boy. We're going to need... Let's see, 20 of those gets me 80, and then 20 whites should be a nice middle ground. So reds will be strong enough that they'll hopefully take down who they need to take down. Congratulations, I guess you're going to get this. But the, the plan here. So I want to go all the way around through here, and we want to go kill big old bull bear, whatever he is up there. And then I want to send the whites and the blues over here, start breaking down that gate. So we'll split up the team around there. Only concern is getting them over there. I hate that little area. When I'm playing the main game, right, I just, I just send the yellows. But I have to send whites over there, and... Well, I can't just let 20 of them die in the water. <laughs> I could, but it would be a terrible idea. I'm also 10 purple shy of my goal. I ideally, I get 20 of every Pikmin. Because if I have 20 of every Pikmin, then they'll sing. <laughs> and that's the only thing that I want. Okay, you dummies. Don't die. Stay... Ooh, okay, they can pop off this way. I need you to be up there. And I need you to not fall down. I need you to hug this wall for me. Just keep going, keep going. Like the worst place in this game. Oh my god, don't fling yourselves off the edge like that. Okay, they're here and they're safe. Move over to Louie. Grab the boys. Oh, we do need to get the treasure that's up there as well. So that's where the yellows will go while the reds are busy fighting the boss. I say boss, but it, it's just like one guy. It's one guy who we've already killed one of. So just don't throw too many of them. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with that. Oh, they didn't finish the bridge, but they're getting close. Looks like we can drain that. Is that not a cave? There's two caves. There's one over here. Maybe that is still a blue only cave. Possible. Okay, this is finished. Bring the boys. No, there's a cave next. Oh. What's the point of uh, clearing out the water down there, then? I mean, I can. There's no real reason to. Uh, let's go ahead and split up. I'm Red guy, get out of here. I don't know why you wanted to join, but you're not allowed. We're going to have these blues just hang out over here. I'm going to have one blue hang out over here. Because I'm going to send these blues to start breaking down this gate. Alright, there's a, uh... Yeah, there's a dark gate over here. Let's get kill this guy first. That knocked me over. Yeah, I guess. Okay, he's down. Then we send these blues over here. And Louie is gonna go back to hang out with the Pikmin that are going to go fight up here. A go-to feature would be so handy. I think we're going to have to go back to the second area and just get get the goods. You guys are going to be punching that for a while. I wanted to have one blue Pikmin over here ready to uh, break open the water. I don't know if there's a reason for us to do that. It might, well, actually, doesn't it? It might drain all this. I think it drains all this in the main game. But obviously, it's kind of 
full of wood. I don't know if that's going to do anything. We'll see. They are still smashing that gate down. I figured they'd be done by now. Well, in the meantime, we'll go smash these rocks. I could go around and get a couple berries. But they're so far away. And this is... The map's been made linear. Linear? Liner? Yeah, linear. Yeah, it's it's a straight line. Well, it's a straight circle. <laughs> Normally, you can come down... You have to go around like this way, this way, and then up. And then you could come from this side or this side at that point. But we're forced to go in a circle here. Yeah, there's no there's no shortcut or way up from this side. Get through that. You guys are halfway through that. Oh yeah, this guy's back. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. It has been like an hour since the last day. Because I went and messed with my mic settings. It's different now. I'm not sure if it's better. But for some reason my mic was set to 15% uh, volume. I don't know how it got set that low. But it was. So hopefully it's not quite. I've been having audio issues for a, a month or so. And I think that's the, the cause of them. No. <laughs> Did not want to risk that one. Get that cookie. Can you just take the rest of these guys? No. As long as they don't drop down on that idiot. Probably fine. We're gonna work on doing that. They should be 100% okay. We're gonna go take our yellows. And by that I do mean... I want 10 yellows. Because we have to navigate around this nonsense. And any more than that is too much. This is probably the most difficult overworld in terms of uh, movement and the like. I think Whistle Wilds, just from the enemy counts, is probably the most difficult. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really like this level. I both hate this level and like this level. The Forest Naval, I just hate. <laughs> I just, I hate that one. But this is, I, I like this level. Despite the nightmares it gives me, with all the... <sighs> Hold on. Those berries are gonna explode because none of my Pikmin are grabbing them. No, 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 they got them. Good job, good job. I want more... I need more spray. Give me more spray. You, uh, still not done, huh? I guess if I had an Olympic throwing arm, I could maybe land him on the thing. Maybe. Probably not. That could be a neat Kaizo thing. I know there is Kaizo Pikmin, but the only thing with Kaizo Pikmin is, is just, oh, here's a million enemies. I think... I, I don't know. Kaizo Mario, is that even a treasure, or is that something I just picked up? Also, what are you doing over here? No thanks. No. You, up there. Get out of here. I'm trying to break this fence. I think of Kaizo Mario, though. I I think about... Well, eh. The original one is just, like, troll design. Difficult, but doable. Like, significantly doable. And then I think of, because I've seen Kaizo Super Mario Sunshine, and that one is less troll design and more do you know every technique in the book? Which I think is an interesting way to do it. It doesn't help if I don't know the techniques, but it, it, it's interesting. I was just thinking, um, like the technique, also, I can't believe those guys were decided to go that direction. Is this just something to pick up, or is this nothing? Oh, you know what? That's a that's a seashell. Down by the seashore down there. I need to bring blues. Get, get up there. Yeah, okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. 
I'm gonna ha bring over a contingent of blues. I only have five Pikmin here, or seven Pikmin. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of blues, and we're gonna kill that guy and get his treasure. And I don't have to worry about him anymore, and then we'll probably jump in that hole. Had enough of this guy's nonsense. Anyway, I was thinking about how you can throw a Pikmin further by running with it, like doing a little like loop if you do that. It throws it a lot farther than normal. Or you can move treasures slowly by uh, falling over with a knapsack next to them. There's a lot of different techniques you can use. It'd be neat if there was a Pikmin designed around that. Obviously not an official one, but a mod where if you knew the techniques, you had to use the techniques. You need to be able to, you know, grab two spicy sprays from the same blob because you know you could move two captains in it at the same time, and then that's the the extent of my Pikmin glitch knowledge at the moment. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of blues over here that are still punching that wall. Oh my god. I didn't realize it would take them that long. I'm worried that I'm gonna have to bring more guys over here as well. Not not over here, but over here where Olimar is. It's dumb. He's just camping them. We're gonna, we're gonna boost them up. Because this thing needs to die today. And then we have to get all the guys back. I do wanna check. Because there's going to be two treasures here, basically. Get the ducky. And then you guys have to go pick up this one fully. If you don't pick it up fully, then the, the whites are going to try and grab a hold of it, and that's not good. Okay, and that should be full of that. That is quite a lot. Now, if I can just get up here without losing 18 Pikmin... Just stand there, if you would. I just want to check the cave. What are we looking like here? Certainly a strange location for a cave to be lying. Uh-huh. Means to indicate a, technolo a technologically advanced environment below. Okay. What do we need? Everything but blues. That's about right. I have time for this. Uh, Olimar, you're just gonna have to hang out with these guys over here, and we're gonna take Louie back to base with the boys. We'll have to come back tomorrow to hit the caves. I'm a little surprised at just how long it was taking them to break that wall down. I, I might have time to break. I have the boys. I have the, the count we need. And they're definitely going to make it back to where they need to be soon enough. So I'm going to leave these guys here. A dangerous idea, I know. I'm going to leave them there. And then I'll go call in these lads once they've reached home base. And then I might be able to peek that cave just to see... It's got to be only... Well, no. I can... I can get different colors in there than just blues. Little ducky. Just a little ducky. Buoyant buddy. Yep, bleep, bleep, bleep. I understand. Still gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be real tight. Real tight. Get over here. I'm definitely not going to be able to explore that cave just because of how long these guys are taking to get into here. Then I'm going to send them back into the Youngin. That way I don't have to worry about them following me so I can run to get those guys at the gate. What do you got? Seashell? Is that Sally Sullen? Ocean treasure. Be everything up here on the surface. This goes up here. Good. Now, Louie, run your little legs off. There's 45 guys on the surface. 
Olimar has 21, which means there should be 24. Yeah, it says hurry up, get you guys. Should be 24 there then. Really thought I only had 23. Maybe, maybe Olimar has 22. Now I've broken that gate down. <laughs> Boys, how much health does that gate have? 24 here. 21 here. Okay, yeah, that's right. We're fine. Little, little spooky, but we're fine. Got a handful of treasures. Um, killed some things. I, I guess I still need to bring whites over there now. Maybe, see, I don't want to even bring in a full hundred squadron on the off chance that I need to get blue Baldman. I might do maybe like 30, 30, 20, leaving 20 free for Baldman opportunities over there. It's, it's a, it's a spooky prospect is all it is. Mini amplifier. Nothing crazy today. Good. I start hurrying up. My wife has been forced to make me a secret room to hide from the deck collectors. That's... That's not all that bad. Okay, above ground, all seven. Digital report. We didn't even see what the other one was named. But since all we have to do is get there, we should be able to get both of these caves today. What? What's it going to be? 30, 30, 20? No, it's going to be 40, 20, 20. It'll be 40, 20, 20. The thing with the uh, whites and yellows, you really, unless it's something really high up, you really only need to uh, have like one, basically. Whites especially, you can get away with only having a single one. Not quick, mind you, but you can't do it. I might be stupid. <laughs> I could just bring blues with me. I don't need Baldman. What am I talking about? I can literally just bring blues. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. <laughs> it's not like the cave says, no, you cannot have the blues. You must bring everything but blues. I can bring whatever I want in that cave. Blues included. Everything's still mostly dead. We're gonna have to take this in multiple trips. Probably each group at a time. Because they all have to do this. And I don't trust them not to overflow outside of the pipe. Hey boys, follow me over. Be good little potatoes, if you would. A bunch of guys over here now. Oh, that guy went flying. No. Okay. We're fine. Don't steal him. What's up with these guys always being in the worst place? Um, Louis, go ahead and throw up. These are both the same contingent amount, I believe. So, I should be able to throw all these guys up. And I'm not going to try. I could get the blues at the same time. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll come back for a third trip. No, it doesn't have to be, you know, the fastest thing ever. We have all day to go to this cave. Slash the other cave. Plenty of time. And Olimar's gonna go grab these ones. You wake them? Spices are looking a little low. And they're good enough. Now, I wouldn't say it's good enough for a final cave, though. 
I, I think I'm, I don't want to go into the final cave with anything less than 10, I think, of each. Yes, I do think I need to bring all these guys up here. Thank you, A-Bun. The controller is certainly well, but it, I'm sure it'll explode soon enough. Okay, they're ready to go. We have to go around this, up this way. Don't fall off. You know what? I guess we're going in with a um, uh, uh, 99. <laughs> Since they just careened off the side. Please don't fall down that water. Thank you. Absolute idiots. Digital laboratory. Laboratory. Whichever one. Think about that guy, but <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, we're in the 3D world. Let's separate them out. Let's deal with these things. I don't even want to. There's no time limits. It's not like a water race going to show up and murder me again. So let's just get rid of these things before they cause me any issues. Red bug. Wait, what are you doing in here? I can't believe I hit him there. No, oh, no. Red bug, I hate you. The worst cave. The worst cave already. Kill these these dumb beetles, please. There's more bread bugs. There are more bread bugs. Kill the bread bug. Okay, we're winning the bread bug war. These beetles need to die. Redbug is just dead. He tried, but you know, he's super dead. Did I just hear a treasure noise? Or is that just him? His, his dying breath makes it sound like a treasure. Okay, that beetle's dead. I can't believe I'm down to white Pikmin already. This is the first one of the run, I think. It wouldn't be so bad if these beetles didn't have so much health. Well, it's probably less they have so much health and more that the yellow Pikmin just don't do enough damage. It's already broken. Just more beetles. Do you have anything over here besides this tunnel? He grabbed a guy! Since when? My, my depth perception has been completely destroyed by this level. I've been in it for 12 seconds. Kill him dead. Thank you. Then these beetles. <laughs> oh, they, they do like a third. They didn't even do a fourth of the damage to kill this guy. No, it, it with my entire contingent, it takes three cycles to kill these things, and they're too random to leave alive. I guess I can leave that one alive, but generally they're too random to leave alive because they, they could just come through and insta kill my entire party while they're just sitting there. And I could change some of my blues into yellows or you know something like that. I don't think that's worth it. We just live with the 15. Should I have? No, yeah, I've, I've got 19. Uh, 18. No, no, 19. I lost a red to the water, a yellow to a ball orb, and a white to lightning. Did these guys go through the walls? That's absurd. Get out of here. doesn't help that yellows fly high, so they've got a uh, longer fall time. Okay, he's dead. Is that 
I think that's everything. It leaves one bug alive, and unless he somehow cross maps me, I think I've got it covered. Looks like there's only one treasure on this floor. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. We can do it. We can do it. An electrode, a diode, a proceeding person system. Computer, or complex computer. Nice seven lads. That was every treasure. There was just the one. Guy's doing his lightning nonsense. Get out of here. There's theoretically also a poison floor and a fire floor somewhere, which will be fine with the fire floor since the immune to fire and all that. Game has been saved. Oh, it's just, I uh, maybe I should have just brought a hundred yellow Pikmin. Looking like lightning all the way through, huh? What is, what is going on over there? They're like, Chromium bulb orbs? Send the boys. Send the boys. Send, send a hundred boys. They can't handle all these boys. Got it. We're fine. Where's where's my eggs at every single dead end? I get to see more eggs. I need more eggs. I don't need more eggs because everyone has flowers still, but I I desire eggs. Well, they have goods in them. They're almost certainly not going to have goods in them, but what if they have goods in them? Get them. Just swarm. Swarm might be a better option. Two cycle them, perhaps. Oh, we one cycled that one. Yeah, I think I ignore the... Uh... Okay, that's not even a chromium. It's just a regular bulb orb that keeps waking up and going back to sleep. Right? The pink ones were I think just regular guys. You would stop moving. That'd be great. Thanks. Come on. Kill him. Give that one cycle. Not quite. A couple guys decided to fight the other beetle instead. Yep, oh, he moved. I don't, there's beetles in the other room, and he can easily just start using the beetles in the other room to start killing my guys. These, I think, are lightning guys. I think. There's a giant compass. All kinds of nonsense in this room. I want to leave him over here. Okay, that's really far in here. That gets, looks good enough for me. Dead. Any odds I can just leave them asleep while I kill the beetles? Because while the big guys could kill, you know, my boys today, he wakes up. Beetles could kill from any direction. And the beetles know no peace. Only murder. Excessive murder. Louie, get in there and start punching. Any DPS is good DPS. I mean, it works. It does work. Uh, oh, we left a yellow over there. Guy here that needs to be got. Assuming he is lightning based. And he's gonna pick up that corpse, which is good for me, so I don't have to care about him anymore. Just need to kill this one. And then bring the reds in to clear out the rest of the riffraff. Lightning guy? Lightning guy, sweet. Then you grab reds. And this should be a, I hope, fairly easy cleanup. We're ignoring this guy. This is just a regular ball board. Yeah, reds are gonna tear him apart. Even though he does somehow shake all the ball boards in front of him instead of behind. Whatever. Give me the booty. 
As long as you get him in the booty, you're good enough. He still killed like eight of them. Unbelievable. Was that is that sunshine? What is that? That might be sunshine. Boot up Sunshine Kaizo right now. I'll get to level one, maybe. I saw how you have to start that game. It's it's not easy. You have to, um, you don't get the jetpack until after you beat the first, like, the, the tutorial boss. Which means you have to use water barrels to kill him instead. And yeah, we'll take one copy of Super Mario Sunshine, please. Japan only, unfortunately. A big old broken compass, which is hopefully worth a whole boatload of pokos. Wayward compass. 250. And it's been two floors. We've only lost eight guys. Which is not good. <laughs> Ideally, you lose none. I can't see an option to get more. I see an option to change color, but not to get more. 